From Los Angeles to a worldwide audience, this is Boaz Power TV, where we take your life to the next level. Now, internationally known speaker and author, here's Boaz. Hi, welcome to the Power Show. You are part of the Power Nation, and I'm so delighted that you're here because here we help you to improve your attitude, your relationships, your finances, and your career. Attitude is so important, and in my seminars all over the world, I teach people, when someone asks you, how are you, how's business, how are things, use one word, unbelievable, with enthusiasm. Nobody will know what you're up to, but they'll think you're doing great. And when they do a follow-up, say, now wait a minute, Boaz, is it really going that good? Here's the follow-up line. All I can say is it's unbelievable. How's everything with you? I guarantee you, do it with enthusiasm. Everybody will think you're doing great. I saw a um, PBS documentary not long ago that I thought was amazing. I wanted to share with you, and that's the title of this particular episode of Boaz Power TV, which is episode number 54, The Navajo Seasons in Time. The Navajo Seasons in Time is what I call this. The documentary was actually called The Seasons of the Navajo. And it was about a family, a Navajo family called the Naboyas. And they live on a reservation. There are 160,000 of them in northeastern Arizona, northwestern New Mexico, and southeastern Utah on 16 and a half million acres. And it's as if they live in a world of their own. But there are some messages that I got from this documentary that I thought were absolutely profound and I wanted to share them with you. In the opening scene, the uh, family, uh, speaking in his native tongue, the father of the family says the following, and I wanna share this with you word for word because it is so good. There are several things that are important, he said. These are our livestock, our sheep, and our land. These hold the family together and make it strong. The earth is truly our mother. Whatever she has, she gives, and that becomes our bodies. Every day one works with the land. This is what we learned in the presence of our forefathers. Today we who are older follow the same patterns. Is there something here in the attitude? Oh yes, appreciating the earth, appreciating our gifts simply amazing and so as the seasons unfold the navajos move their sheep they consider their sheep very very important sacred they their relationship with their animals is something very amazing that i saw in this documentary when they move the sheep from the upper levels down to the valleys they take such care of them as i saw in this documentary to make sure they don't get hurt as they go down the hill toward the valley just simply amazing they appreciate having animals. In fact, Mr. Naboya said, if I did not have animals, I would not know what to do. And so during the winters, the Navajos live up on the mesa and in the spring, the sunshine warms things up and the narrow canyon below is where they take them to graze. But it is all in the way they treated each other, in the way they considered the earth that I thought was really important. And it's traditions that they live with. They have a sweat lodge. This is a, a covered place where people go in and there are hot coals in there and people get in there and they sweat and it's a way of resurrecting thoughts. It's a, it's a way of being able to let go of old thoughts and creating new within a confined environment. They also consider corn something really important to them. Corn became a gift from the earth. Again, appreciation. Now I wanna share with you a closing thought here. One of their elders states the, their philosophy this way. If one wants to be healthy and live a good life, if one wants to be healthy and live a good life, one should get up early and greet the sunrise. Get up early and greet the sunrise. He said, with corn pollen, you say a prayer to the dawn. Today, I will live well. Wow. Today, I will live well. What a great affirmation for this episode of Boaz Power TV. Please write it down. Today I will live well. What does the average person say? I just want to be able to get by. I just want to pay my bills and have enough money for a couple of things. That's not the way life is meant to be. That's not the way the Navajos saw it. They saw great gifts from the earth. They appreciate things. They see things from a different vantage point and they say, a prayer to the dawn, today I will live well. 
And one of the cornerstones, I believe, in living well is having peace of mind. I got to tell you, a few years ago when I was deeply in debt and I wasn't using my money properly, I did not have peace of mind. I did not have peace of mind. So let me share with you our basic concepts to get your power back if you don't have it now. Concerning money, take your power back by lowering your expenses. Let's live a little below our means. The Navajos did not live lavish lifestyles and they were very happy. Pay in cash. If you can't afford something, wait. Just wait. Number three, pay off your debts. I got to tell you, it feels great to be debt free. It just feels fabulous. Gives me a lot of strength and save some money. You see, a passbook to me is a report card. If you worked hard for a whole year and you have no savings to show for it, that to me says that was a wasted year. Let's save some money. Gives you lots of confidence. Gives you power. Such a pleasure to have you with me. I conclude by saying, as always, that you are special. You are unique. You are destined for greatness. And above all, you are a champion. I believe in you. Have a powerful day. This has been Boaz Power TV. To comment, see other episodes, or to subscribe to this free broadcast, go to our blog at boazpower.com. That's boazpower.com. We're here to take your life to the next level.